and move on to a Kansas City Chiefs team that's on the road at 2-0 against an 0-1-1 Colts team that looked absolutely brutal. If you were with us last week, we talked at length about danger, 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 Indy at Jacksonville, where they had lost five times in a row in Jacksonville. Now make it six times in a row, three Matt Ryan interceptions. So Kansas City rightfully favored, favored by six on the bet U.S. line. Total 50 and a half uh, in this matchup. And let's go to Scott Kellen here. You may have a couple of plays on this game. What do you like and why? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm taking the Colts plus the six, and I'm going over the total. Um, look, there's nothing I can say here uh, that, that we've seen this year that supports the Colts in this game. Uh, but uh, they, first of all, I think they've lost 10 straight games at home as a home underdog under Frank Wright. So nothing, nothing happening there. Uh, some of those games have been closer, of course. Some, some they, they've got blown out in. Um, it's not like these two games that they have lost or tied were against the top of the league, right? They, they played Houston and Jacksonville, two teams that are not very good. Uh, so, you know, you can't really support it there, and Kansas City is looking very good. But the look-ahead line on this last week was minus three, and then we saw what happened last Sunday. This line has jumped up to six. I think there's value in the Colts here. This is their season in some ways, and look, Week one against Houston, they, they screwed up a lot and ultimately they ended up tying that game. But they moved the ball in that game. And then you go to last week, they didn't have Michael Pittman. They didn't have Alec Pierce. Uh, they didn't have Shaquille Leonard. I'm assuming that we get all three of those back potentially in this game, hopefully to force Buckner plays. I know he's a little banged up as well. But you have to – and they've lost eight straight in Jacksonville. For whatever reason, they just cannot go down there and, and win those games. So – the Colts qualify in a very good situation coming back home off a shutout loss that's just one year after year after year for me. Uh, I think there is some value here with the Colts as well. I like the over here, too. We, we kind of mentioned this a little bit back in week one when Kansas City went to Arizona. But Mahomes now is a road favorite against above-average offenses. We'll see what the Colts are. They're certainly not an above-average offense this year, but I do think their offense is okay. He's 12-2 and two to the over. Uh, Mahomes has averaged about 34 points a game in Dome Stadiums uh, in his career uh, as well. So he, he is scoring points uh, when they get in the Dome. I think Kansas City will score in this game, obviously. But I think you're going to get maximum effort from the Colts in this game. And uh, you're going to get their best effort. And, and uh, I think they can cover and come within the number. And I think this game will be a little bit higher scoring. So we'll see some points. And I'll go over the uh, total as well. As long as it's under 51, uh, I would play this over the total. Interesting uh, that, again, for the Indianapolis Colts, they can run the ball with Jonathan Taylor. They're back home. You kind of said in a way, Scott, that it's um, kind of like their season on the line. And Kansas City has shown some vulnerability last Thursday night a week ago as we do the show today because the Chargers were beating them for a lot of the first half of that game. They came back at home uh, with Mahomes throwing a couple of touchdown passes. Chris Farley, any thought if no official play here on KC at the Colts? Yeah, just for our audience listening, um, this is a fascinating case study because, you know, at, at some books on Sunday, this came out at seven in favor of the Chiefs. Now we're seeing line movement bring it down to five and a half at some books. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down to five or four and a half. Um, this is a classic like Sharps against like football guys, right? Um, the sh this is a play that the Sharps play on, period, right? You take a, a team, an 0 and 2 team, or I'm, I'm sorry, a zero one and one team in the Colts, finally going back home. You know, they've been a playoff team before. They have a lot of talent on their roster. You know, the problem for me here uh, is that it's the Chiefs. And if the Chiefs go up like 10 nothing, even 14 nothing, like how in the hell is this Colts offense going to come back? They have scored <laughs> three points in two weeks in the first half. Of course, they didn't score, score a point last week at all, but. I just don't trust Matt Ryan. You know, this is a football guy take, right? But I just, Matt Ryan's arm is just really tough to trust for me. Uh, I don't like the wide receivers still. I mean, Michael Pittman doesn't help, obviously, when he was out in week two. But I, this is a, it's a fascinating uh, case study because it's like football guys against the real true betters, right? This is, this is the right side. You know, Scott's on the right side. I'm not, you know, from like a betting perspective. But I would not be surprised, especially if the Chiefs go up early if we are all left after week three being like, maybe the Colts are just not a very good team anymore, you know? And I mean, I, I could see that happening too, because at face value, I was like Colts minus eight. I think this is 
a game where the Chiefs, or I'm sorry, Chiefs minus eight. I think this is a game where the Colts could absolutely get their doors blown off them again. Well, we're going to find out what they have. And again, there's some belief. Does Matt Ryan have anything left or or has it all evaporated here now that he's gone to Indianapolis three interceptions a week ago? We will see. We know that the official play that's coming here, though, is a double for Scott Kellen. He's on two different parts of this. The Indianapolis Colts, he will take the points, take the six on the Bet US line. And he also very much likes the total play and will take the over uh, here in this instance as well over the Bet US line of 50 and a half for the Colts and Kansas City. 